Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall M. Murph here, Christian, member of the East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana. And this is going to be a brief overview of the sermon today, that is Easter, the day that we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, rose from the dead uh, many, many years ago. And uh, we celebrate that today. And this is going to be an overview uh, from East Columbus Christian Church, again, in Columbus, Indiana. And uh, it's the life of Christ, he rose, and again today is Sunday, April 17th, 2022 AD. And again, this is just going to be a brief overview. Uh, the Bible verse is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 19 through 20, which says, If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are all people most to be pitied, but Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Okay? So when you think about that, the, the main points of the sermon were that we have hope for today. There's hope for today. Uh, for Christians um, who believe, confess, repent, and are baptized, we have hope for today. We have the hope for today of forgiveness of sins, the hope for today of victory over sin, and a full and abundant life. So those are our hopes for today. The hopes for tomorrow is you're going to go to heaven. Um, Jesus paid the price uh, to cover our sins. So it's just a matter of time, which is good news, trust me. Um, so ha keeping in mind the hope for today and the hope for tomorrow, two areas of application of how you can uh, you know, use it in your everyday life. Live in hope. Remember that we have hope and live in a way that appropriate. And take the hope of heaven for yourself. In other words, you know, realize that you have that hope. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't forget that, you know, we're we're only here for a certain amount of time and things things get tough and things aren't always easy. But eventually, we're going to cross the finish line. And that finish line enters into heaven. So, um, that's uh, the whole point of Easter is the fact that, you know, Jesus came, he lived, he died, but it didn't stop there because he rose on the third day. And uh, that's, that's what it's all about, people. So, uh, I hope this will inspire you to hope for today, hope for tomorrow, and uh, apply that hope in the way that uh, God wants you to uh, to hope and live. So until next time, I'm Brandon Bruce. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Bye. Eternal salvation through Jesus Christ. No one believe. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life John 316 number two confess if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness first John 1 9 number three repent Peter replied repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit Acts 238. Number four, baptism. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. John 3 3.